Yo, gang, what is the deal, man? See, y'all seen the last video, y'all see the car broke damn near same day back out. The guy said it caught on fire, but man, we here for another car, but he gonna get on all that, but man, she's still acting crazy. So, um, we can go to the tea house. We gonna find out, I think it might be a, um, it's a cooling leak for sure. So we got that understood. So it might just be a cooling line, so. Either a cool line or a tank because it was dripping like right in front of the tire like y'all seen in the last video. So we're going to head to the house. We're going to figure this out and <sighs> hope we can get her fixed, man. It's crazy. I spent all that money and I'm still having problems. But you know what they say? If they one thing, it's another one. We're going to check on this motor real quick. And look at we're going to check all the fluids. Let's just see real quick. What is this now, dude? What, what is this supposed to be, man? That's what I'm saying. This crazy shit. Oh, okay. So that looks like. Well, we just gonna tune back the end, y'all, in a minute. We can go get gas and shit. All right, y'all. So we put him on man's team, man. Can we get a cold start? Even though you already kind of started it, man. Hey, man. Link inside the description, my boy T oh, Baby Channel. You feel me? We're going to get this in a little code start. That boy sounded good. Link inside the description, my boy T, man. It's just a 3.7 liter uh, V6. No, no cat. But, man. The reason why I think I was going through what I was going through is because I put too much in there. Because right now, we got the car on. It ain't leaking nothing at all. The temperature still look good. Temperature still look good. So, man. I'm over here tripping like something was really broke. It was really never nothing, bro. <laughs> but the day my car actually broke, I didn't have no cooling in there because it overheated that day. But. Uh, yeah. I really, I just looked at it. I really thought something was wrong with my baby, man. Oh my God, but, uh, I guess not. Don't leave. Don't leave. Just push the extra out. Right, look, we ain't got no leak under there. So yeah, so, I ended up overfilling it, man. That's crazy, and I woke up, and it was a putter right there, but you said that's the overfill line, right? Yeah. So yeah, so man, she all good. I thought I was gonna send her back to the shop. I ain't even gonna cap, man. Whew. Hey, did you gonna tell everybody what's the next mod you got coming? Like some type of chrome delete, some type of rip? I mean, yeah, you know I, just, <laughs> well, I just got her back. Hey, next, I ain't gonna cap. Probably this video, I'm gonna tell y'all how much I spent, what took so long, what I got done, and everything. If you know what I would've spent, you would've told my pockets to chill out for a second. He know what I spent, man, but. <sighs> I thought something was wrong with my baby, man. That's crazy. Brand new, zero miles. Go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Oh. All right, man, so gang, y'all wanna know how much I paid to get my car back? Uh, why was it gone so long? When did it leave? Um, Pretty much a whole breakdown. So man, one night, me and my brothers out here fooling around, went to Mexico. I don't know why, it was raining that day. I tried to launch the car in the rain. <laughs> Not thinking, I did a launch, boom, I, had, I felt the boom back there. I'm like, okay, I don't know. Did another launch, felt the boom back here. So now I'm knowing that was a rain making the boom. So, we had like three or four booms. Boom, my brother look at me, like, like look at me. I'm like, bro, what are you looking at? Like, I'm trying to play it off like I don't know what's going on. So when he look at me, I'm keep driving, I'm driving. Every, every now and then I hear boom, boom, boom. So uh, the next morning, I go shoot my little errands, run to the bank, whatever. 
then it ended up breaking on me right then and there. So it ended up breaking on me. Uh, I called my boy T and I called my, y'all know who T mine is. They come pick me up, whatever, boom. So they come pick, they come pull up on me. Uh, I turn around, I see Josh around. I'm like, bro, what the hell are you doing out here? I call him, he stopped by. Uh, so basically, um, we took the car the same day to one shop. The one shop was talking crazy number. So the same day we got to sit to another shop, boom. The shop that did the work. So we got to sit to that shop that did the work. And um, man, he ended up giving me a call a few days saying, later saying, uh, I short the circuit board um, and I broke the diff. Cool. He said about 1600 to get that fixed. I'm like, that's parts and labor, cool, it is what it is. I just want the car back, so. Boom, we order parts. So, first you guys are telling me to go get a scat diff. I was trying to go get a scat diff. Um, Y'all said it's gonna fit right in. Uh, I think like a 306 or a 309. Y'all said it's gonna fit right in, which it didn't. The guy said the diff was way smaller. I needed uh, a whole new rear end. Like I needed the, uh, he said I needed the axles and uh, like everything in the back had to be changed. It's gonna be a couple thousand. I was already come on a couple thousand get this fixed. So I definitely was getting that done right now. So um, yeah, so he ordered that. It took him about three to four days to get that. Uh, he tried to put it in. Say it took it a day. He couldn't get it in there. Obviously, because the axles. He said the one was like a 32 teeth. One was like a 27. So that wasted like a week. Um, so that wasted a week. That wasted a week. Boom. Second. Okay, he, he he calls, so after we sent the scat trans, so after we sent the scat diff back, the guy, my mechanic ordered the right diff, the 282 diff, right? He ordered the 282 diff, guy sends it in. My mechanic tried to put it in, it don't work again. This guy ended up ordering a diff for 2018 Rams. How do you get a 07 Chrysler 300 C and a I don't know, but it's not my mechanics for it, so I couldn't really get too mad at him. You know what I'm saying? So the guy ended up sending the wrong diff. I don't know how. So that took about three, not three, four days to send that back, get a new one. Then we finally got the real uh, diff in. So that took about another three to four days to get here. Y'all know the Corona got FedEx and UPS and everything still blocked up. So. Um, that took so long, so I'm like, man, I need my car. So, okay, um, from my understanding, the trans was fixed a long time ago. Like, the trans was an easy job, I'm pretty sure. But y'all did see I had the metal shavings, like I'm gonna show y'all right here. This is part, I can still roll it backwards. Yeah, Your okay. rear end is smoked. Rear end is smoked? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pushing it. Okay, yeah, I see. So what about, so you think, so I do got some trans problems. You got some trans, because it's not reading, this is your input and your output speed sensor. You got a code for your input speed sensor. Okay. This is your metal in your pan. Holy smokes. Come this way. Yeah. Okay. You see the shiny stuff? Mm-hmm. Y'all seen the metal shavers, man. The whole, like, man, the car was so, the difference so broke. When T came and picked me up, we pushed the car, you feel me? We pushed the car into a parking space. You feel me? We put it in park. The car still rolled back. I'm like, what? So when they rolled back, I didn't know my trans was completely gone or I knew the diff was completely gone. But, man, but luckily I didn't hurt my drive shaft, nothing crazy like that, but. So that took about, when did it, when did it? I dropped my car off, let me see. Okay, my car broke October 2nd, I got it back November 5th, man. So it's been well over a month. So, I mean, little problems. Now, when I bought the car, the guy told me the gas gauge didn't work, which I think I told y'all before, right? He told me it didn't work. I'm like, all right, cool. I ended up buying the car. Meanwhile, we drove two hours to like uh, Jackson to get the car. Two and a half hours to Jackson, man. You feel me? So I was already a little skeptical. So he told me the gas hand didn't work. Cool, no big problem. We'll get that fixed. 
Um, he didn't tell me that it didn't want to take gas. Every time you pump gas, it clicks. He didn't ever tell me that. So he kind of messed me over on that end. But man, I guess it is what it is. So um, I kind of got screwed over with that. But now, I mean, she's pretty much done everything right. The gas hand do works. Um, it was stuck at halfway point. We gonna show y'all where it's at now. We gonna show y'all. Yeah, the boy down again out of gas. So uh, we got that working. So we got that working. Now then the gas tank, it was the evap. It was the evap and the evap solenoid, which I showed during the last video of me picking the car up. Y'all seen what the whole thing went. If y'all didn't see that, go click that. So y'all seen what evap sensor went. That was about 400 bucks. Um, about 400 bucks for the cylinder and the evap. So man, car's been gone for about a month, dude. No, it's been over a month. So it's, it's been gone for over a month. Uh. I spent the hefty ticket. I ain't gonna cap. I wish I had the, the right exact papers, but man, I spent over twenty five hundred. Not gonna lie to y'all. Let me show y'all. So, yeah, twenty five. These are the receipts. You feel me? So once I pay what I paid last, I owed him five fifty eight. Look at that. Oh my God! Can y'all see? Look at that, 2400 Woo! Which was crazy. Now, we got all the rest of the receipts, but I, I had the whole breakdown of, like, but but I, I had the whole breakdown of the whole slip. I don't know what it had that one, but your boy spent 2500 which was crazy. I did not expect to spend that much, man, but... Damn, man, but I needed a car back. I ain't gonna lie. Man, look, look at these receipts, dude. So, when I first dropped it off, I gave him 500, like, just off, off jump the same day. So, I got a receipt for, like, 500. Man, I ain't even gonna go through all this, but, man, your boy just spent some bread, which was crazy. I did not expect to spend this much money. I ain't even gonna lie, but, man. It is what it is. We got her back. She still sound good. She back breathing now. We got the overheating problem fixed. Y'all seen that earlier. It wasn't even no problem. Man. But now she running at 203. Now, due to the fact of, due to the fact of, I did mess my, uh, I think I messed my thermostat up. My car used to run at 180. I was driving home earlier, running at 180, but like at a consistent basis, it'd be at 180, 190. So we got to get a new thermostat put in. I probably messed it up. So. Um, yeah, this is pretty much over with. The car is back, so we end up getting the evap fixed. We got the evap cylinder fixed. We got the uh, trans rebuilt, and we got the uh, differential fix. So, man, I'm just glad, and I ain't gonna lie. Man, let me look at my phone, dude. We are so close to 3K. Now, listen, I got some merch coming. I got some merch. I've been working with big time graphics. Y'all don't know who that is. Man, go here, get you together. Now, right now, we're at 2,948 subscribers. That are, That is so crazy, man. I remember I just seen a post. Last year, today, I had just hit, the last year, the last year, a couple days ago, I had just hit 100 subs. I thought that was nuts, man. So, that could just show y'all how much this time and space and just positivity takes you. I ain't gonna lie, I try to be so positive, man. I ain't gonna cap. I, I ain't gonna lie, man, but it's just feeling crazy. I just seen, people didn't see me out, and I ain't gonna lie, it's starting to feel real, but... You rock with me, I rock with you. I support everybody who support me. No cap, man. We gonna get this to 3K. 3K, man, we gonna drop these shirts, man. We gonna take the pre-orders. Everything gonna be smooth. I ain't gonna cap, man, but... I don't know if I even showed y'all these blue lights. Yeah, I got the blue lights. I had it. It's a little dirty, I haven't put it out yet, but... Yeah. But yeah, I ain't gonna look at her. She running at 208. But man, without further ado, gang, this video is over. This video is done, man. Appreciate all the love and support. I ain't gonna lie.
Okay, but without further ado, we're gonna get this thumbnail. Get me out of here. Stay blessed. I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us man down, he took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live. I got the news from my sister, gave me chills. Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill. He popped these hands and I dog itching to do a drill.